Hi, and welcome to the autumn edition of Legman's Finds. That's not an official um, event or anything, it's just what I made up right now. So, I placed an order with Legman's today, and I got some items that I don't think are available all year round. So, that was fun to encounter. So, I'm going to start with... The usual thing I get from Wegmans, their jalapeno cheese, which is amazing and delicious. Sometimes I dream about this cheese. Actually, I don't, but you get the point. I love it. It's amazing on burgers. Because fall is um, basically tea weather to me. I got some boxes of their tea. So, um, I actually wanted a couple of other teas um, that were kind of like fall themed, but they were out of stock, so I got these instead. The shopper was like, you know, it's okay to get a replacement. So, I've always liked um, Western Cha, quote unquote. Um, because cha is actually um, tea in in um, in, in, in um, Asia, so like this is like kind of um, not necessary, but I still like it. it. Still tastes good to me. So I got this, and I got cinnamon spice, which I'm not sure if there's like other flavors in this. So yeah, there's orange peel in this, and clove, so we'll see how it goes. Um, I do like cinnamon stick from Big Galo, but this is a bit cheaper, so I decided to try this. I think they did have a cinnamon stick like on, on the website, but they were likely out of stock. So, sticking with these for now. I'll see if I like them. Because I am all about cinnamon right now. Probably like my favorite fall, winter spice. I got this dark chocolate with cinnamon glazed pecans. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not like the biggest fan of pecans, but um, I saw this and I figured that it could be good. So I picked it up. Um... I think it's a nice fall twist on chocolate. I always like their milk chocolate. It's really creamy and not too sweet. And I don't think I've tried a lot of their dark chocolate, so I'm looking forward to seeing what this is like. Hopefully they come to favorite. And, um, it's not like me to get almond butter, but I had to try this. I saw it on, on, the, on, on the website. And it does have maple in it, another fall flavor that I like a lot. I think that almond is healthier for you from what I've heard. So it would be a nice way to try a different nut butter that's not peanut butter. The one I always buy is Smucker's Natural, and that's like my go-to. But this one, um, I hope I like it a lot. It was a bit expensive, it was like nine something. But usually this kind of butter it is. And it's from Wegmans too, so I was expecting that. And it is a pound, so it's not that bad. You can see it has like that nice natural oil on top. Okay. And I had to get their maple and brown sugar oatmeal, which I did not know they had instant oatmeal in the box like this. So I was glad to see it was like three fifty, which to me is a good price for this sort of thing. And you get ten packets, which is great. I always like um, these kinds of flavors for the fall, as I mentioned. So um, looking forward to trying this out and seeing what it's like. I've been avoiding Quaker because it's like a huge corporation, 
So, um, hopefully this works for me. I really like finding Wegman's alternative to things on boycotting. And the last thing I got in Fallout Influencer from Fire is this gorgeous cake. Yes, I am a glutton, don't act surprised. I do love how Wegman's bakers decorate their cakes. That's the side. That's beautiful. And they even did like a wrap around of um plastic to protect it. There's all that luscious apple slices and sauce. Three layers, wow, well, all right. That's amazing. I like little Legman sticker too, it's cute. I look forward to stuffing my face with this. Um, no, I will not share it, so don't ask. I do like Wegmans a lot for their themed desserts and treats and their seasonal offerings. It's always nice to get good products at like, you know, a fair price, I think. Um, it is a bit expensive, like all things considered. Around here, a cake like this will probably cost around $12, but you are getting more, I think, for your money. So I feel like it's okay to pay, pay that amount for this kind of cake. And um, they didn't have the four pack of cream cheese that I wanted, so I told the shopper to get me this and one of these. I like Cable a lot. They're very um, consistent in, in, in their, their products, good quality and so on. And um, I have tried this in the past. It's a bit salty for my liking, but still it's pretty, it's pretty good, I think. Um, it is smooth and creamy. They're telling the truth about that. I also like their cheese. So, um, I think it's fine to work with this. Um, I never thought I'd say this, but this is a bit too salty for me. If you know me, I am like a huge salt person. I'm surprised I haven't dried up yet. Um, or that I don't have high blood pressure. But, um, when it comes to cream cheese, I like just a touch of salt to bring out some flavors in it. And then, um, just like you know, like enjoy the bagel or whatever it is I'm eating, with with like light, with very very lightly salted cream cheese. But still, I think I will like this again. Um, overall, it is a good product. So my last two things are things you probably saw here before. I always buy their frosted flakes. I like this better than I like the Tony the Tiger frosted flakes. Probably from Kellogg's. And it's also cheaper. It's like, a, it's like less than um, three bucks for this box. And you get, it's like 13.5 ounces. I even buy the family size box um, to save money, but they were out of stock, I think. So I just took this one. So yeah, one of my favorite cereals. And I want to try their mac and cheese. Whenever I go shopping at a new store or something, I like trying out certain items from them to see what it's like so i don't really buy craft that much um and this was like really really well priced it was like a dollar five or something which is like unheard of and um and i would like to see how this works out for me probably going to be just like a standard box mac and cheese but um Hopefully it tastes pretty good. I do like Annie's for mac and cheese, and I like the Whole Foods brand for their mac and cheese. Um, those were the best tasting to me. However, I'll see what this is like. So that was my small order for today. And let me know in the comments what fall products you like from your local stores or from any store you think I should go to.